For the first time in 20 years, the Hilltoppers and the Cardinals. And from a few yards deep, he wanted to bring it out, but Hassan Hall told to take a knee, and the freshman obliges. Going offensively last week until the second half when Malik Cunningham came in the game. Pass on the move. He's not going to get the first down, scrambling for about four, and it'll be fourth down. When you're trying to establish what you want as an identity as a defense. Steven Duncan completes his first pass of the 2018 season and a pretty good gain on first down. Plus midfield needing six yards for the first. Steven Duncan, two for two so far. Rifles downfield, it's intercepted. Picked off by C.J. Avery. And Avery into Hilltopper territory. The first mistake of the day for the young man from Charleston. That's the reason why he was able to get up underneath the route and be able to make it. When you play a cover two like that. I wonder how that interception will change the quarterback rotation. We are expecting to see David Shanley and Steven Duncan. And there's a fumble on the field. And is it picked up in bounds? It's very close to the sideline. He just got extended. Several Hilltoppers had a shot as Colin Wilson coughed it up. And the referees say second down. Great strip by number 44, Ben Hope. He's the football player. He's the guy who makes a lot of plays. Heads up play by one of the guys trying to throw it back in. Jarrell Green threw it back in, understanding that he couldn't recover because he was going out of bounds. But the Cardinals, they were able to recover. Well, in a situation for Louisville where several running backs are trying to become the number one. You've got Jeremy Smith behind him. The give to Smith. He made his season debut last week, and he lost the football as he got drilled in the backfield. More eager than anybody to come out here and show he's a better player than what he's shown over the past two weeks. Passes throw a little bit behind Jalen Smith. A lot of young players out there for the Cardinal defense. Around the edge. Big game for Garland LaFrance, a true freshman. Does a great job, but I love the way he understands running lane. He had time, and he locks it over the head of Xavier Lane. Seth Dawkins did a nice job jumping out in front of Burns here, giving him a lead blocker. For a minute, the way that he, he came out with the block, I thought it was Robert Hicks. Reminiscent of last week for different circumstances. Pass, throws it, and it's picked off. Through the hands of Avery, into the grasp of D'Angelo Malone, and it's Hilltoppers football. The blitz coming from his left side. He knew it was a hot. He threw it to Kamari Everett. Avery, and you got to make those plays. You got to be able to help your quarterback out, especially knowing that he's struggling. And this does not help. It actually contributes to the struggle. First and 10, Western Kentucky. I mean, how many times can this game zigzag in half a quarter? They're going tempo pace right here. Shanley tries to muscle across the marker. And the spot will give him the first. Shanley, QB draw. First down, Hilltoppers. Great play call. Westerns have the ball more than twice as much as the Cardinals. And that ball's complete to the outside. Quinn Jernigan knocked out of bounds by London Yacopo. Strike first in what has been a wacky opening quarter in Louisville. Brig up the middle near the first down marker and smacked backwards by Michael Boykin. Pretty young and has five guys playing positions they didn't play last year. So let's just see what specialty play he has cooked up. Shanley, quick throw, completes it in the end zone. Kyle Fortenberry, the tight end, has the Hilltopper touchdown. Davis 
Stanley just getting the snap. He saw the open guy. Kyle Fultonberry. And the only thing that he did, he just ran a simple six-yard stick stop route, turned around and inspected the ball. Some points on the board. Take the give to Day Williams. Puma pass. Taken down in the backfield. Devin Key with a booming hit. I uh, make it Ben Holt to close out the first quarter. This is that we're on money. Yeah, and you can't put all of that on him. But as a result, you got to do what's best for the team to spark something. And that's exactly what Malik Cunningham is doing right now. Ball was a little loose, but Cunningham hangs on. Set of yards on the last drive from the Cardinals. Shanley still in the game. Fires downfield. Completes it. Into the end zone. No signal yet for the touchdown. It looks like they're going to mark Jernigan out inside the five. They spotted at the three-yard line, first and goal. They've been establishing the run all day. You fake the run, and you get the corner one-on-one -on -one matchup with Quinn Jernigan. And these guys want the exposure. Shanley keeps it untouched for the touchdown. <laughs> Cardinal fans are stunned here in Louisville. He's been in the game for two drives. He's delivered two touchdowns. One in the air. This one on the ground. 14 zip. And over the years, they're last in the ACC in offense. Some space on the outside. But unable to keep his feet. Marcus Riley stumbled and goes down. Can't account for it. First down from the 42. Cunningham drops back, steps up, fakes it, and now has room across midfield. Cunningham into Hilltopper territory, down hard on the Western sideline. Because Cunningham has undeniably given them a spark. Yeah, and, and, and this is why you put him in the game. I don't care what you practice for throughout the week as a defense. It's one thing to know what he can do, but it's another thing to actually see him do it. And that is going to be the hard thing. And as you said before, it wasn't Puma Pass's fault. But they're down 14-0, and now they've lost four or five more yards out of the backfield of Jeremy Smith. There's going to be on third and 19, Cunningham rifles downfield, and it should have been intercepted, deflected to the ground by Western Kentucky's Devin Key. In this football game to change the momentum. Hilltoppers, four of six on third down. Pressure coming, and that ball incomplete. Off the hands of DeAndre Furby. And the Cardinals complete a third down for the first time. Cunningham, there's a flag thrown in the backfield, and he's not going anywhere. Barely back to the line of scrimmage. The drop passes, the penalties, the decision to go for it on fourth and three from their own 32, and meanwhile, the Hilltoppers running game just went over the 100-yard mark. They're Brian Van Gorder. Yeah, and they're pretty much just blocking them up front. Well, four wide, re wide receivers for Shanley on second down. And he'll zip it to Jacquez Sloan. And that's another first down. And, and let's give credit to this Western Kentucky offensive line, which looked flummoxed last week. Cardinal territory. Shanley on the move, fires short. And that is a loss of two. And walk away with something positive that you can hang your head on. And they stay on schedule and get something positive on first down. Jalen Smith makes the catch and he can't do much after it. Great pursuit by Takori and Darden. Got a win in his first start with the Jets. Now third down and 11. Cunningham rifles deep. And that one's caught. Jalen Smith has finally made a play for Louisville. And the crowd is, has erupted. Malik Cunningham, he waited on him. He saw that the, the middle of the field was boarded. Yards from Cunningham to Smith. And now wide open, Des Fitzpatrick. 
into Hilltopper territory. Gotta find him. You're gonna have those plays. I'm sure he wants to come back to it. Across the middle, that's another first down. Did Western Kentucky steal the football? Cunningham gonna take it himself. And he's inside the 15, spinning out of bounds with 36 seconds left in the quarter. By 2-2 two -two at one. Nice job. He knew his quarterback. He knew he wasn't going to get the football. I'm sorry, that was Des Fitzpatrick. But great block. He took out two guys right there. Don't force it. Take what we can get. We can walk out of here with three points. Cunningham up the middle on third and ten. And he did not get the first down. That's right. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Ricky from 23 gets the Cardinals on the board. First meeting in 20 years against Louisville. A huge game for Hilltopper recruiting. Mike Sanford he's had a busy weekend. He was out at a high school game last night. Scouting, recruiting, all of his assistants were at various games in the Louisville area. And Western's up 14-3. Back to Jernigan. That's a first down for Western Kentucky. Third and five. Shanley completes it. Jackson's first catch of the day is shy of the first down. Down. Wait your turn. What do you think he'll say after tonight? I'm the guy. <laughs> we'll see. Up the middle. There goes Dave Williams. Louisville needs more of that. Job. The left guard, RJ Scape. No, I'm sorry. The left guard. 15 yards for Williams. Cunningham gives it again. Williams, great vision. He saw the hole. He breaks the tackle. And he's down to the Hilltoppers 30 yard line. Job on the right side of that offensive line. You look at Makai Becton being able to push his guy out to, to let the cutback come back across. Jordan Davis, extra tight end, came in. Cunningham keeps it, has a hole. Malik Cunningham unable to get to the end zone, but he's got first and goal. Darden saved a touchdown for Western. Coach Petrino bring in three tight ends, meaning power formation for run. He gives it to Malik Cunningham. It's hard, but if you're a running quarterback, this should be something implemented as far as what you do. He thought he saw a hole that closed really quickly. Evan Sainer on the defensive line was right there. From the right hand. They miss him tremendously, Evan. On third down, that's complete Lucky Jackson. We'll move the chains for the Hilltoppers. Under pressure, Shanley completes it. Jacquez Sloan has the first down and more near midfield. What a catch by Jacquez Sloan. In the pocket, knew he was going to get hit. Jacquez Sloan with a nice kick. So the guys can't get set. Shanley had nowhere to go there. Spun down by Hicks and Avery in the backfield. Shanley is not the ideal quarterback when you want to run the zone read. Louisville knows that. Coaches, all coaches now at FBS programs, name those three schools. Get back to that in a moment on third and one. Looks like a dive for the first down. Yeah, how you're supposed to play it, the depot. Second and ten, Shanley, wide open, man. Goodness gracious, Mike Dean to the ten-yard line. Where was the Cardinal defense there? Where it goes back to tempo, they hurried it up on that last play, the flat route. They went tempo, they hurried it up. Shanley taken down this time, though. Great penetration in the backfield by Peterson. Davis Shanley looking under pressure. Down he goes! G.G. Robinson got there. G.G. Robinson comes through, defeats his blocker. 
And comes away with the set. Big field goal here, 32-yard attempt for Ryan Nuss. And it's oh, blocked! That ball still loose. Finally, Mike Wandine has it, loses it. And on the other side of the field, about 40 yards from where the ball was spotted, Louisville will take over. It's a series. By these guys, I'm not sure who got their hand on it. Talk about a hot potato. I mean, you know, these are the drills you talk about doing in preseason, scoop and score. I think it was Jared Goldwire who got his paw up on the ball. It was. Seconds on the play clock here. Cunningham keeps it up the middle. First down. Inside the 10. Make it easy. Keep it in your best player's hands on the offense who's running the football. Malik Cunningham. Great fake. Cunningham's at 96 rushing yards in the game. Oh, this oh. one goes nowhere. Day Williams rejected by Eli Brown. Is a hit. Whoa, the spark. Day Williams motions out of the backfield. Cunningham surveys. Under pressure. Gets out of trouble. Uh-oh. Cunningham cannot get to the pylon. Zones locking on to men who are wide open, but they did a great job of containing Malik Cunningham. He's very impressive, very exciting runner. Ali into the arms of Day Williams, powers into the end zone for the Cardinals. Third and eight. Quick throw. To, did he hang on? Fortenberry bottled it, but they're crediting him with a first down for Western Kentucky. In, aligning guys and making some plays. Lucky Jackson on the outside, out of bounds at the 37-yard line for the Hilltoppers' first down. They have been very efficient when they get to the third down area. Shanley hit as he throws. It's caught on the sideline. Quinn Jernigan. And how about Shanley hanging in there tough? Got to stand in the pocket, and you trust your receiver, Quinn Jernigan, is going to come down with the catch. Marlin character, he had no idea where he, the ball was. He was lost. He was lost. Ten minutes to go in the fourth. How about Samuel? Taken down from behind by Smith. After a 25-yard game. Slings it. LaFrance to the 20 and out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Shia marked the game. From the left hash to make it a four-point game. Gets it off and sneaks it through the right upright. He had separation. Another open cardinal. At the 41-yard line is Seth Dawkins. Seven and a half to play in the fourth. Malik Cunningham takes off across midfield, across the 45, stumbling to the 42. Late looking to the left, but he went through his progressions. He said, you know what? I'm not going to force it. I'm going to tuck it and run. I hate it playing against Michael Vick. This time Cunningham hands it off. And play a complete game. Cunningham tries to get outside, gets past Holtz. Crowd wants a flag and gets it. Uh -huh. You know how good he can be until you see him in a game against game speed. Close to the goal line, but just short of the end zone. Day Williams down to the one. Williams is running with the purpose, but you look at the left side of that offensive line. You look at Nate Shell of the center. 
Their touchdown tackle, Becton, is on the line, not in the backfield. And it's up the middle, Day Williams, to get the call. I just talked about him, Lenwood Ford, Kenny Thomas. Look at the push that they get, the press. We've been moving the football the entire game. Let's continue to do that and play smart. Don't do anything out of character. From three yards deep in the end zone, Darden brings it out and pays it off. Out to the 37-yard line. It's a gutsy return. Very nice return, and they did a nice job of setting up the blocks. And one. It's Trigg up the middle. He's very close. And with the spot, it's going to be a hilltopper first down. Samuel. That's an easy 10. Shanley runs out of time, and now it's fourth and very, very long. To hold on to the football because the route was not there, and it allowed the defensive line to be able to get the second. It's fourth and 14. Shanley. Second and seven. Cunningham unable to break the tackle. Tremendous grab by Cray. He does a good job. Sees it coming on the outside. Cardinals have not been good on third down today. Cunningham keeps it, and he's going down to the backfield. So the play clock will begin. Both teams hopeful for 10. Oh, and they may have just roughed the punter, but there's no flag. <laughs> the kick returner, Craig, got hammered, and there's a flag. 16 seconds to go, and let's check the marker. At both ends of that punt, there was hard contact. You can't complete a pass that shy of a first down in the field of play. No. Incomplete. Over the head of Lane with 10 seconds to go. Louisville's defense spread out, playing deep. Shanley steps up across the middle. Little hook and ladder caught by Jernigan. Finds Can Jackson, and he's out of bounds with, well, is there any time left? I think he got out. I think he got out with one second left. I'm not sure. They're at the 34-yard line. If they give him a second, it would be a 51-yard try. What a play call. 52. Let's take a look at the clock, bottom left of your screen. And just throw your hands up in the air. From 51, Nuss for the tie. It's no good. He had the leg, but just wide to the right. Mike Sanford giving some dab to his kicker, even in defeat. And the Cardinals survive a hard-fought fight. 